I quit my job um, as a back-end developer for an e-commerce company because I wanted to make my own software. Um, so I wasn't really interested in a job. But for some reason, I clicked on TripleByte's Reddit ad. I've been seeing them for a couple of months, and I thought they were stupid as hell. But one of them basically said, um, if you take this test, we'll tell you if you're worth six figures as a developer. Now, I hadn't been close to making six figures in the job I left. So I guess the ad touched like a trigger point for me, and I thought, I wonder if I'm worth that much. As I was taking the test, it made me feel like 50-50, either I'm acing it or I'm bombing it. It was all multiple choice, um, and it didn't tell you if it answered the questions right or wrong. But somehow I managed to pass the damn thing. I've been a developer for seven, for seven years at this point, so I guess the bits and pieces I picked up over the years came in handy. Now, I was glad I had passed, but like I said, I wasn't interested in a job, so I didn't move on to the next step they wanted, which was a live video interview. The problem is they kept sending me emails like once or twice a month um, asking me to do the interview, and uh, I didn't want to unsubscribe from these emails in case the entrepreneurship thing didn't work out and I had to get a job in the future, you know, I wanted to stay on good terms with them. Well, a couple of months passed getting these emails and eventually I got one that basically said, do the interview and we'll give you a $50 Amazon gift card. Uh, it said they were having this special and I figured, hey, if they're going to pay me, you know, might as well just try it out. I didn't expect to pass the video interview because uh, Triple Byte was recruiting for some well-known companies and uh, these, a lot of those companies want their candidates to know CS fundamentals, which I didn't know. But actually, I managed to pass the Triple Byte video interview even without those fundamentals because, um, well, they sent a feedback note uh, after I finished my interview. I basically said, yeah, I was shit at uh, you know, CS fundamentals and systems programming, but I was good enough in all the other areas that they were willing to bring me into their platform. When you get on Triple Byte as a developer, it's basically like a dating site. Um, companies can see your profile and they can either show interest or pass on you. And since there's hundreds of these companies uh, on their platform, you basically end up with anywhere from 15 to like 35 uh, companies that show interest in you and that want to get on the phone with you. And these phone calls they want are basically really short and sweet. Um, you skip the whole like applying and screening steps these companies have. And these uh, phone calls are basically just to talk about the job um, and to see if it's like the kind of work you'd be interested in. And if both of you show interest, um, they mark your profile as someone they want to interview. This phase is called going live. And um, once you have some companies that want to interview you, TripleByte handles all the logistics in terms of chaining those interviews together. Um, so if you have three companies in San Francisco that want to interview, they're going to schedule it so that, let's say you get there on a Monday, um, your first interview would be on a Tuesday, and the other one would be on Wednesday, and the next one on Thursday. Um, that's basically what happened to me. All three of the companies I wanted to interview with were in San Francisco, so Triple Byte uh, bought me a plane ticket there, they had a hotel room ready for me, and they let me connect to their uh, business Uber account so I could get to the interviews on their dime. Now, even though I wasn't interested in a job, um, I figured this opportunity to go to California for basically free was a great experience, so I got on the plane. But as I was doing my one interview a day, I started to dream a little. Uh, you know, maybe I get a job offer and I move there um, and just like start life anew. I would get an apartment, make new friends, uh, travel and explore the area, and just generally become another pilgrim to the California Republic. Well, that ended up happening. Um, I hadn't prepared enough to get a job offer from these companies. And if I put in 10 hours to like prep, uh, polish my uh, strengths in terms of designing um, architecture of applications and also um, brushed up on the CS fundamentals I was missing, and I'm talking about like basic sorting algorithms here, I'm sure two of the companies I interviewed with uh, would have given me an offer, but as it stands, um, I, I didn't put in the effort to basically like pass the bar enough where they could um, extend an offer to me. But you know, um, I still had such a great experience with this whole process that I'm still glad I went through it. Um, I learned like how to prepare for these kinds of interviews in the future. And uh, the interviews weren't long, like the longest one I had was four hours um, per day. So I got to enjoy my heavily discounted vacation to Cali. Um, if this is a process that you want to try to go through, um, click below and see if you can pass the quiz. Good luck.